John Corrigan Jonathan Wells born 1942, is an American biologist, author and advocate of the pseudoscientific argument of intelligent design. Wells joined the Unification Church in 1974, and subsequently wrote that the teachings of church founder Sun Myung Moon, his own studies at the Unification Theological Seminary and his prayers convinced him to devote his life to destroying Darwinism. The term Darwinism is often used by intelligent design proponents and other creationists to refer to the scientific consensus on evolution. He gained a Ph.D. in religious studies at Yale University in 1986, then became director of the Unification Church's Interreligious Outreach Organization in New York City. In 1989, he studied at the University of California, Berkeley, where he earned a Ph.D. in molecular and cellular biology in 1994. He became a member of several scientific associations and has published in academic journals. In his book Icons of Evolution, Science or Myth, 2000, Wells argues that a number of examples used to illustrate biology textbooks were grossly exaggerated, distorted truth, or were patently false. Wells said that this shows that evolution conflicts with the evidence, and so argued against its teaching in public education. Some reviewers of Icons of Evolution have said that Wells misquoted experts cited as sources and took minor issues out of context, basing his argument on a flawed syllogism, but Wells has responded insisting those accusations are untrue. Wells's views on evolution have been rejected by the scientific community. Biography <inaudible> 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 Wells was born in New York City in 1942 and grew up in New Jersey, and was brought up as a Protestant Christian. He studied geology at Princeton University, where he dropped out in his junior year. Following a brief stint as a taxi driver, he was drafted into the United States Army and spent two years serving in Germany. After his discharge in 1966, he attended University of California, Berkeley, where he publicly refused to report for reserve duty. This resulted in him being arrested and being incarcerated for 18 months at the Leavenworth Military Prison. Upon his release, Wells returned to Berkeley where he completed his studies with a major in geology and physics and a minor in biology. In 1974, Wells joined the Unification Church of the United States. He graduated from the Church's Unification Theological Seminary in 1978 with a master's degree in religious education. Wells continued his studies at Yale University, earning a Ph.D. in Religious Studies in 1986, focusing on historical reactions to Darwinism. During this time he wrote extensively on unification theology and taught at the Unification Theological Seminary. Wells was on the board of trustees of the Unification Theological Seminary until resigning in 1997 to return to teaching. He also acted as the director of the International Religious Foundation, a unification church affiliated organization which sponsors interdenominational conferences. Wells has written on the subject of marriage within the unification church and has been called a unification church marriage expert by church sources. Wells defended Unification Church theology against what he said were unfair criticisms made in 1977 by the National Council of Churches. In 1994, Wells earned another Ph.D. in molecular and cellular biology at UC Berkeley. After receiving his doctorate, he worked at a position he described as a postdoctoral research biologist at Berkeley, writing articles critical of Darwinism. Shortly after that Wells joined former UC Berkeley law professor Philip E. Johnson, father of the intelligent design movement, at the Discovery Institute. He now serves as a fellow at the Discovery Institute's Center for Science and Culture, the hub of the intelligent design movement, and at the International Society for Complexity, Information, and Design, which also promotes intelligent design. Wells appeared on a panel at Harvard with Stephen Palumbi in November 2001, which his supporters lauded as a home run. Other observers stated that Wells' performance was uneventful. 
Topic opposition to Darwinian evolution of his student days at Unification Theological Seminary 1976 Wells said, One of the things that Father Reverend Sun Myung Moon advised us to do at UTS was to pray to seek God's plan for our lives. He later described that plan, to defend and articulate unification theology especially in relation to Darwinian evolution. Wells stated that his religious doctoral studies at Yale, which were paid for by the Unification Church, focused on the root of the conflict between Darwinian evolution and Christian doctrine and encompassed the whole of Christian theology within a focus of Darwinian controversies. He said, I learned, to my surprise, that biblical chronology played almost no role in the 19th century controversies, since most theologians had already accepted geological evidence for the age of the earth and reinterpreted the days in Genesis as long periods of time. Instead, the central issue was design. Wells said that destroying Darwinism was his motive for studying Christian theology at Yale and going on to seek his second PhD at Berkeley, studying biology and in particular embryology. Fathers Rev. Moon's words, my studies, and my prayers convinced me that I should devote my life to destroying Darwinism, just as many of my fellow unificationists had already devoted their lives to destroying Marxism. When Father chose me along with about a dozen other seminary graduates to enter a PhD program in 1978, I welcomed the opportunity to prepare myself for battle. Wells's statement and others like it are viewed by the scientific community as evidence that Wells lacks proper scientific objectivity and mischaracterizes evolution by ignoring and misrepresenting the evidence supporting it while pursuing an agenda promoting notions supporting his religious beliefs in its place. He has written articles for the Discovery Institute, WorldNet Daily, Origins and Design, and other sympathetic publications attacking evolution and defending intelligent design. In 1997, he presented a paper entitled Evolution by Design at the Unification Church sponsored International Conference on the Unity of the Sciences in Washington, D.C. In 1999, Wells debated with the New Mexicans for Science and Reason. He was one of the contributors to Natural History magazine's 2002 debate between intelligent design advocates and evolution supporters. In 2005, he debated Massimo Piliucci on the PBS talk show Uncommon Knowledge. Piliucci said that Wells clearly lied during his debates and misrepresented his agenda and science, as well as not understanding some of the theories he tried to attack. Wells is one of the signatories of the Discovery Institutes, a scientific dissent from Darwinism, a petition which the intelligent design movement uses to promote intelligent design by attempting to cast doubt on evolution. He is also the author of 10 Questions to Ask Your Biology Teacher About Evolution for High School Students, which is published by the Discovery Institute. The National Center for Science Education has issued a list of answers to the questions. Topic: Icons of Evolution. Wells is best known for his 2000 book Icons of Evolution, in which he discusses 10 examples which he says show that many of the most commonly accepted arguments supporting evolution are invalid. The book is rejected by many members of the scientific community and has received much criticism by those opposed to his views. There have been 12 detailed reviews of icons, from scholars familiar with the subject matter, which have come to the consensus that the book's claims are a politically motivated extreme exaggeration and misrepresentation of a scattering of minor issues. Scholars quoted in the work have accused Wells of purposely misquoting them and misleading readers. Biology professor Jerry Coyne wrote of icons, Wells's book rests entirely on a flawed syllogism. Textbooks illustrate evolution with examples, these examples are sometimes presented in incorrect or misleading ways, therefore evolution is a fiction. <laughs> Kansas evolution hearings In 2005, Wells participated in the Kansas Evolution hearings, which were boycotted by mainstream scientists. There Wells testified, I became convinced that the Darwinian theory is false because it conflicts with the evidence. I think the Earth is probably four and a half billion or so years old. But I'll tell you this, I used to I would have said, a few years ago, I'm convinced it's four and a half billion years old. But the truth is I have not looked at the evidence. And I have become increasingly suspicious of the evidence that is presented to me and that's why at this point I would say probably it's four and a half billion years old, but I haven't looked at the evidence. 
There are already scientists respected scientists in this country who do experiments on things that most people consider supernatural, such as prayer. When Newton proposed the theory of gravitation it was dismissed as supernaturalism because it was action at a distance. What constitutes supernaturalism in today's science may very well not be supernatural in tomorrow's science. Prior to the evolution hearings, in December 2000 after the Pratt County, Kansas, school board revised its 10th grade biology curriculum at the urging of intelligent design proponents to include material that encourages students to question the theory of evolution. The Pratt Tribune published a letter from Jerry Coyne challenging Wells's characterization in an article of his work on peppered moths, saying that his article appended to the Pratt standards was misused and being mischaracterized. Creationists such as Jonathan Wells claim that my criticism of these experiments casts strong doubt on Darwinism. But this characterization is false. My call for additional research on the moths has been wrongly characterized by creationists as revealing some fatal flaw in the theory of evolution. It is a classic creationist tactic as exemplified in Wells' book, Icons of Evolution. To assert that healthy scientific debate is really a sign that evolutionists are either committing fraud or buttressing a crumbling theory. The Politically Incorrect Guide to Darwinism and Intelligent Design In 2006, Wells published his second major book, The Politically Incorrect Guide to Darwinism and Intelligent Design, which was part of a series published by Regnery Publishing. The book was praised by Tom Bethel, author of The Politically Incorrect Guide to Science 2005, but was described by Reed A. Cartwright of the Pandas Thumb weblog as being not only politically incorrect but incorrect in most other ways as well, scientifically, logically, historically, legally, academically, and morally." Cartwright also edited a chapter-by-chapter -chapter critique of the book. A quote from the book linking evolution to eugenics, abortion and racism appeared on Starbucks Paper Cups in 2007. AIDS denialism. In 1991, Wells and his mentor Philip E. Johnson signed an open letter which said in full, It is widely believed by the general public that a retrovirus called HIV causes the group of diseases called AIDS. Many biochemical scientists now question this hypothesis. We propose that a thorough reappraisal of the existing evidence for and against this hypothesis be conducted by a suitable independent group. We further propose that critical epidemiological studies be devised and undertaken. Wells and Johnson have been criticized, along with others, for their questioning of the scientific and medical consensus that HIV causes AIDS. In the Washington University Law Review, Matthew J. Brower, Barbara Forrest, and Stephen G. Gay faulted Wells, Johnson, and others for denying the HIV AIDS connection and promoting denialism via a petition designed to garner publicity but which did not have any scientific support. Topic. Publications Topic. Articles in peer-reviewed journals Wells, Jonathan Inertial force as a possible factor in mitosis. Biosystems. Amsterdam, Elsevier. 17 301–315. DOI 10.1016/0303-2647-85-90046-2. ISSN 0303-2647. PMID 3902112. Larabelle, Carolyn A. Roning, Brian A. Wells, Jonathan, Wu, Mike, Gerhardt, John C. April 1996. Confocal Microscopy Analysis of Living Xenopus Eggs and the Mechanism of Cortical Rotation. PDF. Development. Cambridge, The Company of Biologists. 122, 1281-1289. OCLC 15088415. PMID 8620855. Retrieved 12 December 2013.
Roning, Brian A., Wells, Jonathan, Wu, Mike, Gerhardt, John C., Moon, Randall T., Larabelle, Carolyn A. February 18, 1997. Microtubule mediated transport of organelles and localization of beta catenin to the future dorsal side of Xenopus eggs. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America. Washington, D.C., National Academy of Sciences. 94 4, 1224 1229. DOI 10.1073, PNAS 94.4.1224. ISSN 0027-8424. PMC 19772. PMID 9037034. Retrieved 16 July 2008. Topic Books Topic Dissertations Wells, John Corrigan, nineteen eighty six Charles Hodges Critique of Darwinism The Argument to Design Evolution Theology PhD Dissertation Yale University two hundred and sixty five pages Wells, John Corrigan, 1994. A confocal microscopy study of microtubule arrays involved in cortical rotation during the first cell cycle of Xenopus embryos. Ph.D. Dissertation, University of California, Berkeley, 124 pages. See also Unification Church and Science equals equals notes. <laughs>